Kash, let me just big. ask you to stay with us. Uh, I'm excited to tell our audiences we have with us Professor William Selvamurthy. He's the former DRDO scientist. He's with us right now. Sir, thank you for joining us this evening on CNN News 18. Sir, for us uh, lay people, obviously, we're going to come to you for a breakdown. Can you just tell our audiences the Prime Minister announcing this is the first indigenously developed Agni 5 missile? Sir, can you hear us? Yeah. Uh, first of all, let me congratulate the scientists and the uh, staff technicians who are uh, in DRDO, who are associated with this great mission, the Agni-5. And this uh, new capability has been given to Agni-5. But this is a long-range strategic missile. That means you can carry a payload, nuclear payload, for strategic application. Because India, having announced second strike capability, uh, uh, the, to develop the second strike capability from land, air, water, just, underwater. Sir, so just break this down though for our audiences. What is second strike capabilities? Just tell us, please. Yeah. See, India is a nuclear power, but we have made a self moratorium of no first use. So, if any country ventures to use nuclear weapon or weapons of mass destruction in, on our country, then we need to have a second strike capability have signed a self-moratorium of no first use. So in that direction, this missile becomes very important. And it has a range of more than 5,000 kilometers because this range is also important considering the, uh, the strategic threat which we have around our neighborhood, both in the eastern side and the western side. So this is also a deterrent. If you have the capability to reach with the nuclear payload of 1.5 tons, it can carry up to a range of 5,000 to 6,000 kilometers. It's a great capability. So it okay. also acts like a deterrent for another country to attack India. Of course. So that is why this is a very important uh, uh, the achievement of the DRDO, of the nation. So I must also express my gratitude to Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji for having congratulated. It's a great inspiration and motivation. Okay. This Professor, Prime Minister keeps thank today. you. If I could just ask you to stay with us, I just want to tell our audiences, VK Saraswat is also with us and uh, Mr. Saraswat is a former DRDO chief. Sir, if I could come to you now with our next question. Agni missiles have been developed from all the way back in the early 1980s. Just tell our audiences, therefore, what this particular achievement in that longer journey represents. The first Agni missile was launched in 2012, which was a single pole capability. But this launch of Agni missile with multiple independently targeted re-entry vehicles is a great force multiplier both in terms of multiple payloads and the area coverage for a nuclear deterrence. This gives you the enormous capability in terms of the uh, penetration, in terms of damage and in terms of the uh, coverage of area today. This is a technology which is unique and India by this has really become a very, very potent nation for uh, becoming an integral part of India's no first use policy. You know that we, are, we have a policy of no, no first use, so we need to have a strong deterrence so that we can always um, uh, attack whenever there has been an attack on us. So this gives us that kind of a capability. I would like to congratulate my scientists who have done wonderful work in achieving this particular feat and Honorable Prime Minister for giving us the necessary boost for doing this particular activity. Sir, can I ask you a follow-up question? You are joining us as someone who has looked over the DRDO scientists for years now. Just tell our audiences, sir, about the years of research and development that go into an achievement like this. Just walk our audiences who aren't familiar with the process through it, please. Yes, you see this particular missile, Agni-5, the development work has started really in high in 2008 when the project was sanctioned for its weaponization. While the technology development took place in the early part of 1980s and 90s, but weaponization took place only between 2008 and 2012. And with the launch of Agni-5 first missile, where we launched uh, to a range of 5,000 plus kilometers. Then we were working on the, for the MIRV capability. What it needs for MIRV is that you should be able to take multiple payloads into the atmosphere and then release them at predetermined attitude and altitude so that it can hit independent targets. So each payload has to be designed for autonomous control 
an autonomous guidance so that it can take it to the identified target. So that is the technology which our DRDO scientists has now developed in this particular mission. Other technologies are common, which were there in the earlier control, guidance, propulsion structures, which are integral part of the any missile technology. But the multiple independently targeted re-entry payloads is a major technology which has been a breakthrough this time. Sir, thank you for breaking that down for our audiences. Mr. Saraswat, thank you for joining us. That's former DRDO Chief VK Saraswat joining us. Just to break down for you, our audiences, what the Agni 5 is, why this is such a big milestone and the years of development starting from the 1980s that has gone into this entire milestone. We're going to head into a quick break. On the other side, more of the country's top stories. This is The Nation at 5.